Chapter 7 What do you know about it? Brian's face paled visibly. I spent 300000 to buy this from a collector. More than a dozen experts have authenticated it. They all said it is a Buddha from a wealthy family. How can you say it is a funerary object? I think you are just jealous. Today is your uncle's birthday. I don't care about you since I don't want to spoil the other's fun. Apologize to me right now. Then I'll let it go. Otherwise, I won't show any mercy. Chloe said with contempt. Have you forgotten you're a matrilocal son-in-law? And you know nothing about Jade. How dare you talk nonsense about it? You're just jealous that Brian can afford my father such an expensive gift. The guests realized it and looked at Sean in disdain. They all felt that Sean was talking. Nonsense. How could a matrilocal son-in-law know about precious antiques? If he really had the ability, how could he agree to be the material Cal's son-in-law? And he and Yolanda were a couple in name only. Words had it that Sean had not even held Yolanda's hands yet. Sean, don't pretend to know. It is very generous of Mr. Brain to overlook behavior. Is it appropriate for you to make trouble your rude at your father-in-law's birthday banquet? You're just a no-good depending on the lanes. How ungrateful you are. You should look in the mirror yourself. Mr. Brain said experts had authenticated this Jade Buddha. If it is a funeral object, he would have known about it. All the guests began to discuss with mockery. Standing in front of Sean, Yolanda felt very embarrassed. She was so disappointed with Sean that she even felt too annoyed to re-like him. She knew Sean well. He knew nothing about antiques. So, he was indeed spouting nonsense. Forget it, forget it. Sean is just hopeless. I shouldn't have any expectations about him. I shouldn't have brought him here. Mr. Andres knows a lot about Jade. Let him see if this Jade Buddha is a funeral object. Besides, I can guarantee that this Jade Buddha was unearthed less than half a month ago. Sean said with a calm expression. He didn't care what the people said about him. He was sure that the Jade Buddha was a funeral object, not only because of its style but also because of its dense in chi. Such spirits could only be nurtured in an ancient tomb for hundreds of years. With polarity jade, he was extremely sensitive to spirits. Noticing that Sean was so calm, Brian hesitated. He didn't spend 300,000 but only 10,000 on it. And he bought it from an antique stall. The stall owner repeatedly reminded him to find an expert to expel the Yin Chi from it, but he didn't take it seriously. Now that he thought about it, he felt a little uneasy. Could this Jade Buddha really have been? Was he buried with the dead? What's the hold up here? Why don't you go? In? A dignified voice came from the entrance of the hall. Laurel walked in with her husband, Andres, linking her arm with his. Laurel was only thirty-five years old and she kept her youth well. Her skin was so tender and hydrated. Besides, she had been a model before, so her body was quite attractive. She looked like a girl in her twenties. Although Andres looked very energetic, he was already in his fifties. Standing with Laurel, he looked more like her father. Laurel, it's not that I don't want to go in but that Sean is too much for me. I have worked so hard to prepare this birthday gift for Uncle Andres, but Sean claimed it was a funeral object. I felt so angry that I quarreled with him. 
Brian whined about his grievances as he pointed at Sean with one hand. This Jade Buddha is a funeral object. Anyone who knows Jade can tell at a glance. Sean said calmly. Shut up. Don't you think it's embarrassing enough? It's Dad's birthday. Can't you stop messing around? Yolanda suppressed the anger in her heart and scolded in a low voice. She gave Sean money to buy a birthday present. She didn't hope Sean could make her proud, but at the very least, he shouldn't disgrace her again. Now it was all screwed up, Laurel glanced at Sean in disgust. Brian, take out the Jade Buddha and let Andres take a look. He knows it well and he will give you justice. Hearing this, Brian hurriedly handed over the Jade Buddha in his hand. Collecting antiques was Andres's only hobby. Laurel also had some understanding of antiques via osmosis. They turned the Jade Buddha over and over. Then Andres frowned and whispered a few words in Laurel's ear. An unmistakable look of displeasure appeared on Laurel's face as she glared at Brian. Although Andres and Laurel didn't say anything, this attitude had indicated that there was a real problem with this Jade Buddha. Brian was so embarrassed that he wished the ground could have swallowed him up. Noticing her parents' attitude, Yolanda felt a little surprised and couldn't help but look at Sean a few more times. Could it be that what Sean said was true, this Jade Buddha was indeed a burial object? Suddenly, Andre said resolutely, This Jade Buddha is a statue in some wealthy family in the late Qing dynasty, not a funeral object. As Andres's words fell, Yolanda's reasonable opinion of Sean instantly lost. She felt very foolish to believe Sean's nonsense. Sean, I don't mind you failing to recognize the Jade Buddha. But you are even showing off your incompetence. Do you think that you haven't disgraced the lanes enough? Laurel shot Sean a disgusted look and then said some very harsh words. Apologize to Brain right now. Otherwise, you won't be allowed in the lanes. How could such an unrepentant and incompetent person be a lane? Sean looked at Laurel and Andres in a daze. Inscriptions of rebirth mantra were on the Buddha's seat. How could Andres not see the problem with it? Hearing this, Brian was also shocked, but he quickly became pleased. He knew Laurel and Andres purposely said that to save his face. Sean, did you hear that? Brian shot a penetrating look at Sean with defiance. Dad, look at it a bit more. There's definitely something wrong with this Jade Buddha. On its seat. Enough. Sean still wanted to explain, but he was interrupted by Laurel's angry shout.